She called the meeting, but you see, the chairs are empty. The chairs are empty. I guess she was trying to get her budget approved for this event, and none of the trustees showed up. Okay, as I was stating, uh, for those that don't know what's going on here at Thornton Township, uh, we had a board meeting about a week ago, or I want to say a week or two, and the Board of Trustees have created support seats. Uh, basically, it was a way to halt things in our township, stop services, stop um, events, day-to-day -day operations. And that's the part that a lot of you guys did not hear, did not see, because a lot of people be involved in the mess. You was too busy clapping, yaying, things of stopping progress in our township. Um, as you read the ordinance, and this why, why, do, why does she start off with insulting the residents? That, this is going to continue on for 30 minutes. You're insulting your residents. You want people to sit there and listen to you, and but you want to insult me in the, in the process. Does that make any sense? I always tell people to read because at the end of the day, just like contracts, if you read the contract, sometimes you will miss things that you should have read it is in its entirety, but we did not between the certain people. Um, basically, it stopped services here at Thorn Township uh, effect of Monday. Monday, the staff was not able to even buy ice cream for the seniors. They had an ice cream social. Um, it was held at Calumet City location, and they could not buy ice cream. Come on, make it make sense, y'all. So what I love about the staff is they got together, and they went in their own pocket and paid for the ice cream for the seniors. But these are the things that I was trying to warn you about and tell you what the board was trying to do, or no, what they did do with the ordinance, but no one wanted to hear it because you thought it was just a way to stop six senior, but it was a way to basically stop the services here at Thornton County. That's number one. Number two, uh, youth and family. That's another thing they stopped. Did y'all know that they were y'all weren't able to feed our kids, our youth? So we have an after school care program here at Thornton Township. We was not able to buy food for our kids. That's a program that people sign up prior to um, school starting. And then what we do is we go pick their kids up from school and we bring them to our Riverdale location where we, meaning the township, is responsible for providing a meal, snack, or whatever you want to call it for the day. And we have your kid for four hours. So we had a lot of angry parents that was upset about um, Tiffany line you you if you're operating a daycare you don't wait to the day of to buy freaking snacks if you're having a planned ice cream social you don't wait to the end of the day of to buy the ice cream stop your lying Tiffany stop your lying and you're lying to the residents this is a bunch of BS we know you're lying um the structure the problem Process. And um, our word is our bond. That's all we have here at Thorn Township. Again, I'm going to repeat this. The Board of Trustees do not run a day-to-day -day <coughs> By putting ordinances and things in place, as I stated in the last meeting, you did not ask um, the staff their opinion. You did not ask uh, finance their opinion. You did not ask myself, me, the supervisor, my opinion of day-to-day -day and how it works and what do the staff needs work. Um, you guys just made a law that really affected the entire township. But these are the parts that the news don't show you. These are the parts that you don't see unless you experience it. So some of the seniors, I see you in the audience and you experience it uh, at the Cayman City location. So it just said in my heart that you have to go through these things when you come to your township for help and was not able to get the help that you truly needed, truly desired. And it's a lot more things that's going on. Uh, bingo. Um, it affected our bingo. Uh, bingo, we do go into senior homes for those that don't know what we do here at Thorn Township. Um, they was not able to get certain services, whether it was uh, gift cards for a big bingo, whether it was products for big bingo. So it was all these things that got stopped uh, based off of the ordinances that was um, made by the Board of Trustees. So I just want you to understand when people making laws or people suggesting things, you should speak to everybody in making that law. And that did not happen. People are literally uh, leading with feelings and emotions and not with their minds. This is a business and you have to talk to your staff as it relates to the day-to-day -day operation so you will not hurt or hinder the day-to-day -day operation. These are the complaints that we had. These are the things that happened within the departments. I have the department heads here today and they was gonna all speak to what I'm speaking to, um, the issues that they had uh, before them and the issues that they overcame. So I thank y'all because y'all are really awesome. Y'all give it up for the department heads. Cause, woo! 
Um, if y'all want, I don't know if you feel comfortable still speaking. I know we're going to have a board meeting. Um, hopefully the news play it. If you want, you can still say something about your department, um, especially senior services with the ice cream. Excuse you, excuse you. If you, if you want to say something about about it, you can. Um, Marcia, Tamika, y'all want to get up and speak to the fact of your ice cream social? Did you want to do any, say anything? Y'all wait. Okay. All right. So they want to wait um, to speak to their thing, um, and then we'll go from there. So each department head has the opportunity to speak and tell you what's going on. Again, if you guys do not want to hear this, there's the door. I've said that several times. Right now, this is not. This is not. This is not a Q and A. This is me giving my statement so that residents will know what's going on in the time. Okay. All right. I'll wait for everybody to get then I will finish. Okay, so again, if that's part of the problems that y'all have right now. It's so many people. There's so many issues, guys, and there's so much chaos and so much confusion, and people are all got an opinion. Sometimes you have to just sit still and listen to the other side. That way you can decipher what's right, what's wrong. When you just hear one side, you don't know. You hear uh, Tiffany, we hear your side all the time, okay? Uh, the past two to three years, the Board of Trustees, in Thornton, in Thornton Township and the village, village of Dalton, they pretty much been pretty controlled. They haven't gave you any umph back like they should have. And now that they're giving you pushback, now you're the victim. You're saying everybody's uneducated and they not reading the rules right. Uh, speaking of rules, I did a four-year request five days ago and still haven't received it. And I wanted to know, you know, the language of the ordinance and they still haven't gave it to me. It's a, it's an email. You got the ordinance written out, just scan it and send it to me. But no, then they're not going to do that because I guess they don't want you to make a rebuttal. And I didn't even put it in under, under my name. I put it under somebody else's name that live in Chicago and they still haven't gave it to me. <laughs> they still haven't gave it to me. <laughs> Tiffany is, she's unraveling. She is unraveling at the seams. And this is what you get when somebody is unhinged. One side and didn't get any other side of the truth, especially you news. I've always told you, come and get another perspective, but you guys just write one narrative and that's negative people. Because I get it, it's about ratings, but get the truth. I'm telling you what happened. I'm telling you. I don't know what why Tiffany is in politics. Because Tiffany seems like a very selfish person. The news are re, they're reporting, they see a bunch of angry residents. So the majority of the residents are angry, so that's what they're reporting. And they're sitting through this torture to listen to you and the trustees go back and forth on ordinances. I'm pretty sure eventually they're going to subpoena or for you the ordinance and you're not going to give it to them. Then they're going to have to have give give a go to the a district attorney so they could get it or the general attorney so they could get it and sue you or whatever. Um, just to state the facts, but you for for some reason you like to lie all the time. So we don't trust you. No, no one. The media doesn't trust you. No one trusts you. What went wrong? I'm telling you that people made an ordinance and it hurt the township. My goal is to make sure I uplift our community. My goal is to make sure that people get the services that they need here at Thornton Township. Since becoming your supervisor, I have turned the township around. Like I said, 20% only knew about Thornton Township. Now over 80% know Thornton Township exists. Every single one of my department heads can tell you about services, tell you about increases, tell you about everything that we have helped them do here at Thorne Township. People need to stop with the clickbait. People need to stop with the just 
he'll say that he say she say it's not high school but i want it to be a different narrative here for thorn township and i want to showcase the good we do here because we do a ton of good but it's getting outshadowed by all the negativity and all the confusion and all the chaos agents as most people call them because people here to just create negativity and we not with that. We lead with love. That's what I care about. I care about my community. I grew up in this community, and I want to see it thrive. And under my leadership, it has been thriving. We are in surpluses when we hit deficits for the last 17 years. But y'all not researching that or putting them numbers up. That's the stuff y'all need to talk about, but we're not talking. We can't believe that, Tiffany. You're $9 million or $7 million in debt out of another town that you run. We can't believe that you're in a surplus. So we, no one has done an audit yet. Um, and the Thornton Township Board or trustees, they need to initiate an audit. An audit of what, what you're doing with state funds, federal funds, and, and people taxes. So I, we can't believe what you're saying. She talking so much, her throat dry. <laughs> Shut up, Tiffany. <laughs> Shut up. Um, so, yeah, she was talking too much. Somebody put in a chat saying, um, is the lawyer alive or dead? <laughs> Tony is asking, is that lawyer alive or dead? <laughs> he looked like he always looking like that though. <laughs> like he, he has no emotions. He, he doesn't show any facial expressions or anything. He's always he has always that same resting face on his face. Robert Zhang, thank you. Those are basic services of any municipality. <laughs> she acting like she created this whole new program. <laughs> I know. These are federally funded programs. Every township has them. Yeah, I, I could go to, if I need food, I could go to the food bank. If I need my heat, they got this, it's called Thaw in Michigan. So, okay, I need help with my lights. I got to meet the income requirements. I need help with paying my bills. I could go to, I could go to the actually DHS and help get them to help me pay my mortgage. This, this is not new. They have it throughout the United States, Tiffany. In every city, in every township, they have some type of social program. Tiffany act like she created social programming. <laughs> Like, look at me. I'm just doing, I'm giving out food boxes. <laughs> like, no, they do it everywhere, Tiffany. You know, like, you're, you didn't create food boxes. She act like she coined that French, the phrase. <laughs> or she has the patent over that technology. <laughs> no, Tiffany. I mean, it's everywhere. They, if, if there's a need, um, they have food programs. Um, even, even if Thornton Township didn't exist. Um, I forget what Dr. Scott, she has her own food there. There's a food bank in, in Dalton, Illinois, a nice one. She gives out fresh produce and everything. No cost, no charge to the resident. But Tiffany thinks she created food pantry giveaways. <laughs> William Moore, don't pray for me no more. He's up here. He's about to say something. Uh, my name is William. I'm a part of the uh, extension of the events and uh, that Supervisor Henry puts, uh, puts on for her residents. Um, I sat there and I listened and I just was compelled to share something that uh, Supervisor, she, she doesn't talk about this, but with her leadership, um, I felt compelled to, to say something. Um, Big Bingo um, is an extension of our community shows who we are as a community. And uh, with her foresight, Supervisor Hendrick, she knew that all of our seniors could not come out to Big Bingo, and they wanted to come. So she created an opportunity for us, her staff, to go into seniors' homes. So initially, as she said, 20% of the uh, township did not know, uh, only knew that the township existed, but 80% didn't. So she created a outreach 
team of our young people, which we always complain about. They got their pants down, they don't listen to anybody. So she said, these are some people that are part of our demographic that we forget about. So she created an outreach team of 10 young people. They went to all 17 municipalities starting in October. They finished in February knocking on every single resident's door and letting them know about the services and events that we hold here, as well as the outreach team that we have on the phone. So in doing that, the senior still was not coming out. She sends us into the senior homes to all 17 municipalities. We go in on average three times a week, uh, Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, and we have bingo, we have food, we give them food, and we talk to them. This is something that we don't... Hey, maybe the seniors don't need that, what you're trying to offer. You ever thought about that? Uh, let's highlight... You're telling me that she sends these kids to knock on doors to talk about big bingo, or whatever this type of services and present campaign material for Tiffany Henyard. Who's paying that? Who's paying for these kids to knock on doors? Is, is it coming out your campaign fund, Tiffany? That sounds like a campaign violation to me. We don't talk about we look at these seniors faces, 90 year old lady. She said this when we told her, uh, supervisor, that we're not going to have this program anymore. You know what she said? No one comes and visit us. Mm -hmm. So what's going to happen now? Yep. So this is what happens in our communities. We get our seniors, we put them in these homes, and no one goes and visits them. We feed them, we talk to them, we tell them about the events that we offer, and they look forward to it. We look forward to it because it's an extension of our supervisor. I just had a uh, you could visit for free, William Moore. That's a free service. I'm on, I operate under the Thornton Township. We visit the seniors and we play bingo with the seniors. That's, that's all free services. You're getting paid, paid, but it's free services. That's not no extra expenditure. Okay. You want to buy snacks. Is it under that, under the thousand dollar budget or whatever? I, I'm pretty sure you don't have a thousand dollar worth of snacks for for seniors. I mean, how much snacks are they eating? Come on now. I really wish people would, you know, William Moore is up here lying too. stop. Stop it with the lies. I mean, we're intelligent people. We know stuff costs. We know that. But we know. Uh, that you're not going to spend a thousand dollars on snacks. We know that. You, we know you're not going to spend a thousand dollars on ice cream. So why are you lying? We know if you go to visit somebody, it doesn't cost. It doesn't cost to visit somebody. It costs you your time. But if you're paid through the Thornton Township, and you probably got a group of volunteers that's visiting the seniors. I mean, what, that's that's a free service right there. So what are you talking about? A budget? No, that's just, oh, get a volunteer. We're going to host a bingo night or game night at the senior building on such and such night. That's that shit free. Why can't you find some free shit to do? I mean, I'm just wondering, why do you need to spend money to visit seniors? birthday I'm a senior I would love to have someone to communicate with me when my family puts me aside these are the things that is not is overshadowed because of all the foolishness that we're talking about real people's lives we're playing nickel dime games with real people's lives our seniors that we put away and no one comes to visit us so the program the event that you offer now we can't go see them so we went there and uh, our CBA can attest to this we're on our way there on a Tuesday they go pick, pick up cake. We, we give them cake. And if someone has a birthday, we sing happy birthday to them. Okay. And it's amazing. Okay. We went to pick up the cake to offer to our seniors, and they told us, your card doesn't work. Okay, your card doesn't work. So we had to call, okay, we had to call the CPA, 8 in the morning, to come meet us at a bakery to get a cake for our seniors. Because this is what true leaders do. We don't make excuses. Why doesn't your card work? This is why I know you lying. 
because okay the Thornton Township Thornton trustees they have a business card um, unless they said we're gonna cut off all did they say they was gonna cut off all the credit cards I I, I was kind of confused on that I don't think they cut off all the credit cards I think they said you you have to operate under a spending limit but anyway even if you understand that they cut off your credit card, why didn't you coordinate with Robert Hunt to uh, purchase or call up there to purchase uh, the cake? And I, I'm not for sure how true that is. If they said, oh, we're, we're going to operate off of one card and Robert Hunt has the card, then did you think they were lying about <laughs> the credit cards? They said they was what they was going to do and they actually did it. So now you got to go to Robert Hunt to get the cakes. We make adjustments. Yes. And it's just irresponsible that our trustees would come up with all of these ordinances and not confer with us. Yes. Okay. We're, we're reasonable. Well, well, what do you want us to do? Because at the end of the day, all this back and forth, it affects our citizens. And we're here, we're compassionate enough to say, what do you want us to do then? If you don't want us to do it this way, because what's sad is that there was never another objective or a compromise. Well, I don't want to do this. Have you all considered this? Not one trustee came to me and asked me. So I think it's irresponsible. And to your credit, not one time have you ever said, we can't do it. I don't care how bad it ever looked in that board meeting. She never says, oh, they left you with that. Oh, that's, that's bad. She said, no, you're over it. You're responsible. You fix it. And can not one leader in this room that's here can say that she's never gave us the opportunity and the tools to execute our jobs. And all we're asking the trustees to do is to reconsider that our citizens are suffering because of this knee-jerk approach. Oh, come on now. Now you you going off the deep rails. The citizens are, the seniors are suffering because they can't have cake and ice cream. They probably don't even need cake and ice cream. <laughs> I mean, to be truthful, like my, my dad, you know, he's a diabetic. <laughs> he, he don't need cake and ice cream, really. And he's probably eating cake and ice cream. There probably some crazy people like him going and offering them cake and ice cream. They're not going to die if they don't get cake and ice cream. They probably prefer... You just come and spend some time with them, play checkers, chess, play board games and stuff like that and talk to them. Play on play on the piano and stuff like that. They, they don't care about cake and ice cream. Like they like you said, nobody's there to visit them. Just go to visit them. That's that's free. That's literally a free thing that you could do. You're trying to stop these young ladies, which they can't stop. Because if God be for you. He's more than the whole world against you. So I'm encouraged because I know at the end of the day, God will be vindicated. God will show that our citizens need what she's here for because God raised up a leader because of the crowd of people. So supervisor continue to go on. Hopefully, prayerfully, God will visit them in a nice season and make them aware that they're not hurting you and I. They're hurting our citizens who so desperately need what you have. So thank you. Continue to go on. You know, I'm for you. I'm with you. Because at the end of the day, time will reveal every man's true character. And so we'll stand and we'll see who will be with you. So God bless you. Okay? We don't worry about the news, what they say, because there's a, there's a different gospel than what the news is playing. You know what it is? It's impacting people's real lives. So we pray that these people will continue to come and say, what happened to these services? Because I need them. So thank you, and thank you for your time. God bless. I, I still don't agree with you. Uh, seniors, maybe a food basket or two. Ice cream and cake, no. They, they don't need ice cream and cake. That's just a one. That's just saying, oh, I showed up for ice cream and cake. Look how good we are. Do they need washer and dryers? Do they need big screen TVs on bingo night? No, they don't. You could host bingo night and it could be at a minimum um, fee or whatever. Or you, you could, um, you know, have different prizes. 
Um, I, you know, it's like you're you're just you see money and you want to spend it on something that you you don't they don't need, and it's a little bit ridiculous. And then you got William Moore. I guess on his soapbox praising Tiffany Henyard, and he looked like a damn fool. 